No, what am I doing? I'm trying to get a quick. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Uncharted 2 Brutal Playthrough. Or more specifically, Uncharted Among Thieves Destroys My Soul on Brutal. I hope you are all feeling ready for some more brutal pain. Well, no pain for you guys unless my annoyance is painful. But uh, we've just done quite a few puzzles, so now we're going to uh, get onto some combat very shortly. And I've just realised we are not that far from the train, actually. And I'm getting a little worried. Because that uh, that train is hard. So, only one way out. This is one of the more awkward jumps in the whole series, that one. Now, I remember I could do a bit of stealth here. But, uh... As somebody pointed out, stealth is kind of a myth on this game. But this is one of the chances, or one of the few times you can... Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> I don't know who saw me there, but... Might have been somebody above. I mean, we do actually have... Like, the opportunity to get the flank on people here. There's a foul there. Now the soundtrack's all rocking, but it keeps on. If you wear headphones, it sounds like somebody's up me knocking at my door. <laughs> uh, I feel like there's people up there. I know for a fact there's obviously two people over there. I'm going to keep the AK for a bit, because it's got ammo. Yeah, they've seen me. Chloe's there. I mean, we might be able to work this. Oh, no, we won't. Got him. Chloe's shooting above me. I'm more worried that there's there's a guy yeah down there that's fine I can potentially work the angle here there he is there we go see I like this gun because you actually get headshots with it unlike the pistols uh, sniper man is not a concern as I said many times oh shit I can't believe I've actually survived But I uh, just wanted to quickly mention, uh, as of when I'm recording this, currently on 74 subscribers, so we're pretty close to a milestone that I set when I hit 50, which was 75. Uh, if we do hit 75, which I'm very hopeful we will do at some point, sooner rather than later, uh, I'll have to do another update video. Uh, I'm not too sure what I'll do, but what I'll do is I'll just do basically what I did last time. I'll update what's coming up on the channel, because... The Uncharted well will unfortunately pretty much run dry. I know there is Uncharted 4, but I'm just not sure I've got any ideas for Uncharted 4 that will fit what we've done recently. But I've got a lot of ideas in the pipeline. I mean, if we're looking at more difficult, you know, doing more difficulty stuff, there's a few game ideas running through my head that are similar to Brutal, where it's like pretty hardcore, you know, dying in one hit, kind of that kind of vein. So we can definitely have a look, find something that will suit. Or maybe we could look to another Naughty Dog project. Maybe we could do The Last of Us Remastered. That is uh, an idea worth looking at. I've never done the game on Grounded, and that's something I'm sort of interested in doing. Oh! Wow, an actual melee kill. That's a rarity. But yeah, I would love to tr maybe try the game on, uh, on the famous Grounded difficulty. I have done it on Survivor way back. 
But that's a bit more survival horror. So, you know, ammo management and all that kind of thing. Very different to Uncharted, but some similarities. But that'd be certainly a longer playthrough because the game in itself is longer than an Uncharted game. And there's, you know, a lot more going on, a lot more opportunity for death and mistakes. Do you want to die? Yes, you do. All right. Give it big un. But yeah, recall files, I've still got plenty of ideas for that. Uh, there's still plenty in loads of games to cover yet on the channel. The ideas are not, you know, the, the well of ideas is not running dry, so do not fear. We have, I have no plans to go anywhere right now. And the fact the channel does seemingly keep doing well is just only motivating me more and more, so I can only thank everyone for that. Have any of you got a different gun? We might have to rock an MP40. Did I leave one here? Or is it despawned? Ah, oh, it despawns. I was kind of wanting to use a World War II weapon. There's something I quite like using a World War II weapon on uh, Modern Enemies. I think I mentioned that in the Uncharted 1 thing. It reminds me of a film from the 80s called Uncommon Valor, where Vietnam, people go back into Vietnam and they end up using World War II guns. And there's something really cool about that, you know, classic, you know, meets modern. Or modern for the time, anyway. Uh, I knew about Cheeky Grenade and I still nearly got caught out by it. That's a special kind of uh, unintelligence. These are some of the easiest combat rooms because you've just actually the cover is totally in your favour. I think there's a big shotgun man coming. There is a big shotgun man coming. But uh, he is no match for the cover trick. Chloe looks like she's having a good time there. <laughs> oh, out of ammo. Look at that, what a beast of a weapon. I'm so glad they give, the, give you the 9 to FS early in this game, as opposed, as opposed to uh, Uncharted 1, where you really do have to get about halfway through the game to unlock it. I mean, it does make it more special because of that, but uh, such a good pistol should not be denied early. There'll be an enemy here, won't there? Yep. Yeah. Oh! That is called the... That strategy I just showcased there, even though I died, is called what I call the Indiana Jones. Engage in melee combat and then run away. Oh, bastard. That's one of those moments when, when you die, you're actually in a worse position because the spawn's gone. But yeah, just want to throw a quick question out there to uh, viewers of the channel. Just trying to get a gauge of what people are interested in watching. Oh, okay. Shouldn't be dying to that. Obviously, we've done a lot of Call of Duty on this channel. You know, with the 20 years of Call of Duty, that really got the channel going again after a little bit of a, you know, a sleeping period. Would people be interested at all in watching a full Call of Duty, one of those, you know, one of those games? You know, obviously one of the good ones. I've no intention of doing a bad one that I don't enjoy. I think there's an enemy right next to me. Look out! Yes, it's my grenade. Oh, what? I, I don't really know what I'm playing at. There we go. Is this any good or any kind of good idea? I'm kind of just... Oh, Master Shield Attacker. I've never unlocked that. There you go. Something new. It shows you how little I've used this. But yeah, if that's something at all, if there's any interest in all, I'm, I'm considering doing one of the Call of Duties. Oh, right. The shield is worthless. Oh, it is when you're aiming anyway. Kind of wanted to do this again anyway. But yeah, let me know because I'm kind of... I don't know, in my head I wouldn't mind doing one. Got him. What's this punk on with? Love that. But yeah, we'll find plenty of stuff to cover. I mean, we might be called Recall Gaming, but it doesn't have to all be old. Even though that is very much the vibe of the channel. Got him. I feel like there was two. Let's be on the lookout here. Getting cover. No. This will actually be better cover here on the left, so we might have actually got an advantage here. Ah! Uh.
Right, let's pick some enemies off downrange here. Nice kill there. But yeah, last last of us I won't mind uh won't mind going through. And as I say, I've mentioned a few times I'm working on some long term projects, but they're kind of very different videos, very different to anything I've ever done before. So uh that's all I'll say on them. I don't want to give it away. It might not be something that my the audience I have right now is too interested in, but I think it's something that will bring a big appeal to the channel. Uh and with it, you know, the whole new bunch of subscribers it's going to be a much higher quality video than i've ever done before so it's it's a lot of work that's going into it so um you know just uh the reason videos have been i, I mean i try and do one a day video wise but it, it can be a bit tricky you know um find the time always and a lot of it is due to the fact that i am trying to do this long-term project uh, and it just it requires a lot of effort on my part and uh i need to get a lot of footage basically for it but uh, you'll know when that drops It'll stand out like a bit of a sore thumb, and I won't say too much about it because I want to build some hype. Because what's wrong with that? So that was the first time we died in a while just then. We'd done quite well, actually. This is a tricky point. Because I'm going to lose my ability to cover. Ugh, a lack of crouch is a pain here. Uh, you're going to get pistol there, mate. That's it, run away. There you go. Uh no, I don't need the shotgun. Getting cover. There we go, very nice. Yeah, I remember going up here and it being a bit tricky. Kind of reminds me a bit of uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. You know when you when what's she called? Uh, it's called Duty or something. The the Nazi girl and she's with uh, Indy and they go in. Obviously, it's all it's with a bit with all the rats, famously. And uh, obviously they're like like this. You know they're searching for treasures, and then they get like followed by their pursuers. There isn't a a gunfight where Indy kills twenty people because he's not a psychopath. At least not as much as Drake is. But yeah, just an interesting similarity there. I mean, it's no secret these things are heavily inspired by Indiana Jones. I mean, if you didn't know that, then uh, I fear for your sanity. Not sanity, but intelligence. Not to be rude or anything. That was surprisingly quite easy. I'm going to keep this pistol here. Why not? Because I, I know I lose it soon. And I think I lose the shotgun as well. Ooh. Uh, the four grenades I have. In fact, I definitely do because, um. Yeah, let's get these thrown. I know what's coming. Unfortunately. Let's get a few grenades off there. Okay, we've got bloody snipper boys. Thankfully, they are easy to deal with. I mean, I would absolutely love one day to be able to re uh, record on the... I wish the Xbox had the capabilities of the PS5 to record, because, man, we'd be doing Halo and, like, Call of Duty 2 for days, like, genuinely. That would basically be the entire channel. <laughs> uh, stop. Right, well, I was going to say something rude about me and Chloe being slightly inside each other there, but that has ceased to happen. Have that. He's like an actual machine gun man, not a sniper, so I need to be careful. Not too difficult. Is that job done? Right. We've had Marco Polo for quite some time. We're going to have a hard section, so we're going to need to wear something a little bit more, you know, high class. Well, not class, but we're going to have to be a bit Genghis Khan and get some armor on. So... Hopefully this will shield me from the bullets that are coming. Uh, what do you reckon the odds are they don't? <laughs> right, let's get to Jeff. The main series hero. He's very wounded though. And somehow our skeleton's going to support him. This is hellish. You can imagine, it's brutal. 
And you can just imagine a section like this on Brutal. It's as bad as it okay. looks. We gotta get out of here. Let's go. Elena, barricade the door. So there's actually some like movement like tech to this. Like every so often Nate will get an animation where he like stops and helps Jeff along. If you aim at the right time, you'll actually skip that animation. So that's why I'm aiming like I am. Uh, got a tech cover here. Oh no, Jeff! <laughs> oh man. But yeah, elite strategies. I know them all. Save Jeff! Don't you touch him! I mean, I've blown up Elena. Oh no. Oh. Forget Chloe. Jeff is the main man. Can I run out of ammo? I mean, oh, Elena's freaking out. The sight of Jeff near death has produced strange results. Get out of the way, Elena. I need the third person coming trick. You don't. We should have learnt this in Uncharted 1. And free, you've no excuse. And neither does Chloe. We've seen her in the third one. Right, I can't exploit enemies here. Got him. Right. Thank God for that. It's when Jeff looks away, then you want to aim. You can skip that whole animation. But yeah, a little strategy for you there. But you are not quicker while aiming, so you can't do it indefinitely. You're gonna be okay, Jeff. You're gonna be okay. No, stay with me. Right, I can't know what the deal is with this. You need this door open, basically. But it's basically with whether Elena wants to play ball. Elena should die here, by the way. Must in in describable sur sur surviving instance, I don't know the term. Like Elena's dead. I mean, she should have been dead long long before. Oh, uh, this is not good cover. Oh, death is coming. I think. Yeah. Jeff. Jeff is my hero. Uh, are we just heading for this? Yeah. Yeah, that is the strategy. Just run for it. Uh, probably wanna... Oh, for God's sake, Elena, you've killed Jeff. <laughs> Not bothered about me. Oh, crap. Genghis Khan's already Get dead. Right, please do not kill me, girls. Right, this time she's... not been a killer. Jeez. I don't remember them doing the flips on PS3. I don't know. Like that, like, I feel like that's a Nathan Drake collection thing, but it's probably not. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, shit, I forgot to animation cancel. Bastard. I forgot all of my expert ploys. Doing this easy enough. Right, we have to kind of hope that Elena doesn't push me out of the way. She doesn't. But it's funny, because on any other difficulty, you're not engaging at all with any of this. You're just running for it. It just shows what difference it makes, you know, tweaking the difficulty variables and damage variables. Well, that is the, that is the main one, really. It's just them two, but... What a difference that does make, eh? You gotta be joking. Can I make it in time? I can! <laughs> I think that's it. I think that is literally this section done. Come on. Come on. Up the stairs. Boo ba ya Have that. I don't know what that was. Come on, Jeff, we've got you. Oh, man. What a hero Jeff was. What a man. Oh, shit. It's all right, we can make that. He can't. Oh, no, you don't. We don't have a choice. Nate? Okay. You tried, but it's over. He can't go any further. We can't just leave Jeff. him to die. He is as good as dead already, and so are we if we don't go now. Then go. Yeah. Nobody's stopping you. Chloe. I was trying to save your skin, you idiot. Chloe? What is this? Sorry. Drop the guns. Seriously. Drop the bags. Get her out of here. She's hurt. 
I'll take her to the train. Ooh, the train, that sounds ominous. You just can't help yourself, can you? I guess that makes us even. Not quite. Picture a stereotypical Bond villain. So, there you go. <laughs> this little man is Drake. Did you carry him all the way from the temple? Shame. Jeff! Oh, I can't watch him. I'm turning the game off. No, <laughs> that's the only reason I watched that. Oh shit! Genghis, run! He's changed into the cutscene. <laughs> I had to see the death of Jeff. Oh man! This is one of those moments where I guarantee Blue Point were like, ooh, let's make it brutal damage, and somebody probably went, no, you can't do that. I can't believe that's actually properly done. You would have thought that was a bullshit section. That's obviously not been changed at all. Left. Get jumping. Lots of jumps. I don't think you can be hurt here. We're coming up to one of the hardest sections, and I don't mean the train. There's actually something just beforehand that is uh, absolutely hellish. It's one of the moments where I couldn't use the trank gun. It really fucked me off, actually, but it wouldn't have worked. But here we are. This is one of the few moments you really cannot get spotted. I've probably also put some music over this, because last time I got done by copyright, and I'm still pissed off about it, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. But we've got to take all these guys out stealth. We really can't be uh, getting spotted here. Did you find anything? Nothing yet. I feel like a skeleton shouldn't get spotted. I don't, I don't know if getting spotted would be that detrimental, but I'm going to be stealthy anyway. Nobody look at this skeleton. <laughs> He's just breaking necks. Hmm. Got a guy above me. Oh shit. Hello. You saw nothing. Don't know how that guy's not seeing me. Right. Say bye to your neck. Turn around. I'm sure he turns around. He must do. It is an easy headshot, but I'm fairly certain it'll spawn enemies. Uh, I don't think he's turning around. Okay, he's blind as a bat, apparently. He, uh, his AI borrowed his vision from Metal Gear Solid 1, apparently. It's all clear. There we go. Need as much ammo as I can get. Were Five impressed? bullets, 57. Yeah, exactly. That is such serial killer vibes, isn't it? Ooh, are you impressed I killed all these men? Okay. Hey, once you're up there, just kick it down to me. Right. I say I'm a bit. I'm a bit worried about what's coming. Hey, look what I, found. I just remember it being bloody difficult, and that was on crushing. It's just remembering the pattern, it really is as simple as that, but Brittle can be awfully frustrating when trying to learn a bloody pattern. And my ammo's limited, and I can't use any of my fancy tricks that you all know I, I love. There is one explosive canister there. Oh, 
Man, give me the Lancer. A proper gun. Right, the shark's gonna spawn enemies. Yeah, they come. Yeah, I'm already being shot. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. I need to just hit that canister, basically. But hitting it is easier said than done. I didn't kill them either. Back, you know. Right. There is a canister there as well. But hitting that is going to take a few goes. Ah, oh, bastard. Why do you have to wear an helmet? I mean, all of this is... I mean, not... Jeez, I was about to say nothing's as bad as that Uncharted 3 moment. I don't know. That, that gave it a run for its money, the quickness of that death. Oh, fucking hell. I'm wearing a helmet myself, you know. I can't, can't ping off that. Can't this skin give me an advantage? Oh... I wonder if I got on that time. You just can't... Nah, you can't play games, man. Oh! I feel like that might have got both of them. I don't know. I've got to try and do this. Go on! Yes, that's what we wanted. That, my friends, was a result that we can all get behind. Got him. And that forces you out. Ooh, I'm not dying to him. I'm not getting all them delicious kills to die to this loser. Just be grateful they flinch. I think that's the difference. I genuinely think that would be the difference between this and Uncharted 3. They flinch, which means if you get that first shot, you've got a chance. Where do they spawn now? Where? Oh, shit. No. No, no. Controls, listen to me. Fuck. Please don't... No, no, no. Fuck you, controls. Fuck! I hate the controls. Oh, I'm literally... Kane and Lynch 2 cover over here. Again, obscure reference. Um... If anyone's getting the Kane Lynch 2 references, I'm very impressed. Gold star for you. Oh, it did kill them both. Fuck's sake. Hate this game. Can't get that kill now. No chance. Bollocks. But I know... I at least know they'll spawn behind me. I mean, I knew that anyway, and I still... I still died. Like... <laughs> oh, no! No! Yes! Nice. Right, I've got a chance. We might be living on a prayer, but it's our prayer. Right, perfect. That actually killed them both. There's no checkpoint for that. Sniper man is the least of my concerns. That's all you need to remember. Everyone else is priority. Oh, bloody headshot again. Can you Adam and Eve it? Ah, yes! I need to linger a second too long then. It's just one guy, because Sniper Man's not an issue. Just got to get the first shot on this guy. Oh, forget the first shot. It's the only shot. Right, stop shooting him, Elena, because it's easy kill for me, this. No! I can't! I'm not a robot! Oh, fuck! Fuck yourself! Actually, fuck off! <sighs> oh my god! This is... No! Fucking hell! Like... I'm telling you, I hate this game. <laughs> We've started early with that. Right, climb over, Nate. Please, please, when you reload, you can't do it. Well, what's... 
What's the strategy when you kill these motherfuckers, then? The thing, well, I got really lucky, I feel like. It has to be to climb over, right? Because I got I got sh shot. Nobody will spawn there. You just die too quick. That is. This oh no! Right, again, the game. I can't. I can't. Like, I can't. Oh, for fuck's sake! Man, I hate it. This this is genuinely top like. No! Why is there a basket there? That basket is possibly the best basket. Like, if you did your shopping with that. Oh, piss off. You're dead. Apparently, that explosive did zero damage because he still took another two shots then. Oh! <laughs> well, you can blow it up. You blow it up in one hit. We learned something then. Not every attempt is a failure. Right, come on, come on, second guy. No! Oh, 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 oh. The variables are not with us. Right, it should just be L2 and up. Yes, he's not dead. That guy did not die. He didn't drop the fucking gun. I can't believe it, man. There. His spawn pattern's fucked, isn't it? He only just spawned that time. Like, what is that about? You've got to be joking. You've got to kid me. You've got to be joking. Like, yeah, he spawned this time. Like, oh, fuck off. You're at the fucking hands of the spawn here. So he's, his spawn pattern... His spawn pattern is just fucked, basically. That's what I'm learning. Yeah, I am hit. That's kind of the fucking... That's all that happens on Brutal. This is why I hate Brutal. You just get worse. You get progressively worse. You don't get better at a section. You just get worse, and then you're looked out. But the problem with this one is that I can't try anything new. I'm just stuck with what I'm doing. I'm just... I'm not getting the hits, man. I'm just not getting what I need. There are results that I need to be getting, and they're just... So that time I was hanging out of cover for ages before I got shot. And, I'll, and that was the time when I needed to... I wasn't as fussed. Oh, just die. Fuck off and die, man. I wasn't even in... I was in cover. This is why Gears of War is superior. Oh, doing it too early. All right, got him. I've had enough of him. <laughs> Fuck. This is the problem though, you just, you've got to do so much right. Not fussed about him. Fussed about him though. Do you know what's going to happen this time? I'm going to do it and I'm going to run out of ammo. I knew it! I fucking knew it! I knew it was going that way. I just, I knew I was never going to get lucky in a double headshot again. It was just fucking such a one-time occurrence. What? Oh, I can't believe it! Like, you're probably just saying get out of, you know, get into cover quicker, but it, it, it's hard to describe without playing it. It's just, <laughs> you've got to understand, as soon as I hear that, that shoe and that barrel explode, I have, I have let go of L2. I'm, I'm not daft, like... I'm not, I know what I'm doing, I'm letting go of L2 immediately as soon as I fire, but the animations are just not where they need to be. The animation is the priority, not the actual getting into cover part. It's a bit of a second, secondary thought, which is something Naughty Dog's always done. It always places, you know, animation over actual mechanics, it's just how they rock. And that's what makes it look all very smooth and impressive and, oh my god, it's just like watching a film, but when you max that difficulty, it looks pretty crap. Fuck me, man. Just don't dare put my head out at all. Like that, like, I just... 
I could have died then. There would have been no nothing to stop that death from happening. Problem I got at the minute is they're both shooting me at the same time. That is making life because they only have to both get me, and it's obviously over. Oh fuck's sake! I've got to kill. If I kill one, it's not so bad. Ooh. And obviously ammo's tight, that makes it tricky. Don't forget that I still don't really know what the next spawn is. Oh man. That could have been death. In fact, if that was Uncharted 3, that was death because he wouldn't have reacted to that bullet. How insane is that? <laughs> man, there's so many grenades. Can I have one? Right, there you go, you have to go here. Oh, man. This is just a case of being careful. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no need to get... There we go. There is no need to get crazy here. Oh fuck me! I'm trying to I'm trying to press L2 and R2 as quick as oh no! What am I doing? Why? Why am I daft? What am I doing? There was there was genuinely no need for me to be aggressive like that. I can't. I genuinely can't believe I've just played it that way. If you couldn't tell, that was that was angry shooting then, because I'm fucked off. I had that in the fucking palm. All I had to do was be careful. There's there's no need to get like... I've used a bit too much ammo there, being aggressive. Yep, shoot him because I don't like him. He's pissing me off. Fuck, I can't believe I was as stupid as that. Genuinely, that was daft. There was no need to be that aggressive as well. Oh, I really need him to die with that foul. Oh, for God. How many bullets? Oh, this is taking the piss. I've, my shooting's been spot on. Apart from that shot there. He's not... I think he's got God mode on. Seriously. How, what is he... He's not dying. I... I this are so many bullets I've pumped in him. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. Got him. I think that's all of them. Oh, no. oh, and if you're not quick enough with that, you're dead, by the way. Fucking hell, don't forget that bit. Right, just be intelligent about this. Do not do anything daft. Elena, for some, can actually kill this guy. I think if I do enough, yes, there you go. 18 bullets. There's no need to be stupid here. The camera could be a lot better. I didn't know I was playing Tomb Raider from PS1. Got him. Oh my god, I did it. That took a long time, didn't it? You guys will know because you've been watching. Jesus, it is painful. That is honestly is last year's model. That's that is pretty difficult. Like honestly, compared with what we're gonna see on the train, that kind of almost pales in some kind of comparison. Man, we did it though, we did it. But yeah, that was one of those I'd love to do the Trank gun run again because like that would be a piece of piss now. Is that all I get? One bloody grenade? Every enemy should have a grenade on that section. Nice, we're at the water tower. Yeah, we made it. Right. right now we gotta get on the damn thing. You alright? Whoa. Right. 
This is an interesting section. I can't remember this being... This is pretty tricky off memory. But... After everything we've just done, that's not too bad. Um, it's funny, as I say, you play this game on normal, you're not even remembering that bit where you're hanging. It's just a cool gimmicky section where you're hanging, you know, on the signs and shooting people. Pretty cool. When you do it on Brutal, it's, oh my god, who made this? And on Crushing, on Crushing, that's pretty tough and all. But at least on Crushing, you can take, like, you know, what is it, like, six hits or something like that? Slight difference. Right. Crushing Trank Gunnoli, that's what you're all thinking. So Absolutely not. not. There is no way in hell that would ever happen. <laughs> it just won't work, because there were sections where you just had to tank damage, and you, uh... You can't do that on a brutal. There is no damage to be tanked, you're just dead. Right, lots of weapons. This is a, yeah, this is tough. Can't remember what the play is that much. I've got pistole, I've got I've got stuff. That is the the thing to remember. Basically anytime somebody charges it's not too bad. I know I wasn't even charged and I died, so there you go. Talking crap as per. Yeah. Gotta obviously stop stop grenades coming in. Usual shit really. I dare say. Get that grenade. I don't think what weapons I'm rocking is gonna matter too much when I'm doing the actual you know when I'm on the train. Don't worry, Nate, it's scripted. We can't miss the train. Fuck! I've got to be quick. I have to kill that sniper because he can see me. He's not, it's not the fact that the sniper's such a threat, it's just he, he kills me very quickly. Uh, well, he doesn't kill me quickly at all, that's a lie. But what he does do is he will kill me instantly if I don't like hurry up, basically. So... Speed is of some essence. Can you get out of the way of those barrels, you dickhead? For fuck, why does he engage in combat? Just shoot him, please, Nate. Hey, how's that? How's that for an idea? Right. Can none of you run into the barrels and let me blow you up with them, Ta? Like that. Thank you. <laughs> that was perfect. Well rehearsed. Good, good rehearsal. For next time, when I obviously die. <laughs> oh shit. You can piss off and all. A lot of you. Right. You all don't mind, I've got a date with a sniper. The f oh man! You forget how quick you. T I don't know, why am I running out of cover like that? I, I should know this difficulty by now. That is not a thing. You do not just run out and live. Oh, nice. Right, that'll spawn Mr. Sniper, sir. Cheers, game, for trying to kill me there, by the way. Got him. That's. I just needed that, basically. No! Oh, my God, I wasn't even in cover then. I don't know what Nate was playing at. He was trying to get me killed. That's what he would try to do. Twat. Right. Is the thing not just to hold out here? I don't remember there being like, you must kill so many enemies. I might be totally wrong about that. The train might be scripted. To just go on indefinitely. But I know Naughty Dog and their commitment to uh, realism or in terms of immersion. Oh shit. Get down, Nate, you utter twat. I can't believe there's not... <laughs> 
Right, all of you piss off. Well, I suppose it couldn't get any worse. Yeah, it probably could, mate. Yeah. <laughs> right, we're nearly there. But the snipers, have, the snipers on the edges have gone. Uh, I'm going to actually take the 92 FS, because I'm probably going to need it. Lots of ammo. Yeah, you see, she's here. I don't know if I lose my guns, but I know I've got ammo. If, if not, and I've got grenades. Oh, we did it. Let's see, what's the scenario? We've got... Oh, we've lost a... Oh! I've got four grenades, though. I'm still annoyed. Right. I'm not playing that now. That's your little... I'll, I will always, in any playthrough, stop before the train. Because the train deserves its its moment. But yeah, thank you so much for watching Recall Gaming, guys. It's been painful. But we've done quite a few chapters there. So next time you arrive, it'll be the train that everybody loves. That is going to be hellish. And it's only going to get harder from there. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Recall Gaming, we'll see you next time.